to the rummaging ferret. So these are the Vax and Vex. Uncle Pop. She's got her bow. I like the gradation on her coat. That transition from kind of white to blue. She doesn't really have a lot of imperfections on them. There's a stray blue mark there. But they're cheap. I mean, they're less than 10 bucks and you're getting a vinyl pop. And best part of all is you get a little bit of the nerd culture you love, right? So I don't mind that. It's going to be on the top of her head. I'm not going to be seeing it because it'll be on shelf. Like, and I always have to double check their faces. That's the one thing I can't do. Percy and Pike that were at the Walmart next town over had like chip paint on their nose and that's something I can't quite handle but like the rest is okay I mean but they're not like super high quality or anything like if you look close that doesn't look too bad but you can see how the paint overlaps right here so you can tell that there's a darker brown underneath the paint skin and then like the paint on the ear overlaps the hair. They're not super high end or high quality. And I don't know if like Walmart gets like B grade products or what, but they aren't bad. Like his foot doesn't, his foot didn't touch anything. Like he's standing on one foot and wings. But other than that, I don't see anything wrong. He's still a really cool, really cool pop, really cool figure. I really like him. I think it's more about sort of nerd culture. You know, you get a piece of your nerdum in your house and not necessarily about, you know, like if you try to buy figurines from Japan, like the really nice ones, the high quality ones, super really good detail ones. I mean, you're looking at $60, $70 base price minimum. I'm still excited to have them. <laughs> I don't know why his foot doesn't touch the crown. <laughs> totally in the light. You know who these two are? Again, comment in the section below. There's Trinket. Vexalia on her broom. Vexalia? Ve yeah, E-E-X. Vexalia on her broom. Scanlin. I love Big B's hand. That is so cool. Frog Strongjaw. Kiki, the two new ones. So, Percy, Pike will go there, and Ed. I got Ed. There's Mars. Boy, Sandman. If you know who Sandman is, congrats. I got the Mad Hatter. I got my. Rest of my Say the Moon squad that needs to find a home somewhere on the shelf. So, I just got alerted by my phone. It sounds like there's a possibility of tornadoes coming into the area. been bad for about a week. So I gotta go prep a little bit. Um, just make sure the closet's empty, vacuum the bottom of the closet out, and get the ferret carrier ready to go in there. I gotta figure out what to do with mom's and dog. Mom's and dog's gotta get shoved into the closet.
Pike will go here, and Percy will go there. Good morning, guys. So, today is the first couple days of March. Wait, no. January, yeah, March. March. <laughs> I know things. Anyways, what's been going on is we've been so short-staffed. We had several people quit. Well, two people quit. And then we had another person leave on uh, quarantine for two weeks. So we have been mad scrambling to get things kind of back together. Uh, we had to borrow an associate from another store. We had to borrow another associate from another department. I mean, we are dragging anybody and everybody we can into our department to try to make ends meet. Well, my boss called me in yesterday on my day off to work four or five hours in the morning for overtime. So for those, I think it was like five hours. It was there to almost one, I think. What had been happening is we had managed to get a hold of two people, one from Delhi and then one from another store to come in to work, but neither knew how to run seafood. So I had to train them how to open seafood in the morning, which was good, you know. So now we got a backup for somebody who's in a different department. And then we also trained somebody from another store so they could open their seafood department as well as ours if we're in a tight fix. Um, because even though everybody's getting vaccines, we're still having staffing issues because people are quitting, people are leaving, people are changing jobs. It's, it's really kind of crazy. And like I said, there's still people that are quarantining. What also had happened in the last few days uh, was that my dryer went out and died. I don't have a ton of money, <laughs> but I wanted to buy a decent washer. Uh, the ones that are low level, at even the low cost ones, which are like $600, $700 plus tax, you know, with tax, is, that's a lot of money for me, right? I ended up, Lowe's, that's the, that's the name of it, Lowe's. Lowe's had a sale on washers and dryers. It was kind of higher end on sale for like $200 off. I looked at the tier under it, which wasn't on sale, which was more expensive than the upper tier that was on sale. Does that make sense? And then you had the super cheapo machines, which I actually physically went to Lowe's and I looked at what was available. I talked to my dad about it too. And my dad was like, well, the ones that are on the lower end are meant to be more thrown away where the ones that are a little bit higher up are made to be fixed. I don't know how true that is, but I trust my dad um, when it comes to this sort of thing. And he recently had to buy a washer and dryer because he lived through the flood that happened in Houston and he lost everything. So he's had to buy new appliances. I still ended up blowing a huge, like all of my money almost. Um, I get paid today, so I get, you know, a paycheck back in, but I pretty much blew all my money on that which wasn't that much to begin with. <laughs> and my dad's like, stop freaking out. It's an investment. You have to think of it as an investment. And I'm like, <laughs> kills me, right? Like, I don't want to spend that much money on, on a dryer. And my washer is older than my dryer. My dryer was probably from the 80s or 90s, you know? And then my washer is probably from like the 60s, or not 60s, probably around the 70s or early 80s. It's old. I mean, they built them to last. It definitely lasted. The washer's still kicking. And I, I pray it doesn't go out before I can save up the money to go back and buy the matching washer. I haven't done my taxes yet, so I'm hoping to get a tax return to cover that and to just quickly buy it um, the next time it goes on sale. I did a lot yesterday. I also ran around, cleaned the house, cleaned the animals, all of that. So today I'm kind of not as pressed to get a lot done. So what I'm focusing on is actually my business. So hopefully I can get my OBS software. Oh, yeah, open broadcasting, yeah, OBS software 
to work. I had a problem where it was crashing the entire computer. I took it off my computer, erased it entirely, and then I went and re-downloaded it off the website. Um, OBS, if you don't know, is called Open Broadcasting Software. What it is, is it's a free-to-use software um, that's community-driven, I think, that allows you to screen capture things from your computer. So if you're an artist and you want to do videos of you working on your digital art, that's a good way to do it. It also can do live streaming, um, uploading up to Twitch or YouTube or however you want to do it. it. It's there for that too. It can let you do overlays and everything else that you might want to try, right? So that's kind of what I did. So I'm going to give that a shot today and see if I can get that working so I can actually show you stuff. I uploaded to Etsy. So it's now up on my shop, a planner page with the ferrets on it. What I want to get done, which was supposed to happen last month, was my poodles and puddles uh, sticker sheet, as well as a planner page to go with it. And the planner page is just a digital download that you can print out yourself and then use. So I'm hoping to get both of those at least finished today, if not put up on Etsy today, I'm hoping. I really need to do a post to Instagram because I have not posted since I put my map up on Etsy um, for Dungeons and Dragons, the new one that's got like the Crystal Cavern on it. I'm hoping... <laughs> I don't know when that's going to be done. I would like it to be done today, but I, I'm hoping it'll be done later this week. My goal by the end of 2021 is to actually get 50 items up in the shop, which would require me to release two to three items per month. So it's a little bit of a stretch. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. I barely hit 20 by the end of 2020 and I had opened my shop October of 2019. So I already had some stuff in the shop by January 2020 and by the end of 2020 I had 19 <laughs> and I was working on number 20. So I'm hoping I can get it done if I could stick to about two to three items per month I should be able to do it and the idea is to use the same illustration but on multiple products so like if I create a sticker sheet maybe find a way to use those same images for the sticker sheet onto a planner page or onto a print you know or something like that or use a print to put onto a planner page or find something else <laughs> to put these images on more products out of the same images so that's what i'm working on today hopefully i get it done i just had a bug up my bum to get the ferret planner page done because i had an idea and i just wanted to do it and i had already had that illustration of the ferrets for my business card so i'm working on that uh we'll figure it out <laughs> There's, there's a lot I, mean, I need to get done, and I've got so many ideas. I have a two-page list, back and front, of stuff to do that I want to work on. And some of it's already been started, some of it's already been, like, I've got the line work done, and I just need to fix the rest of it. I gotta figure out what I'm doing next after I get the poodles and puddles page up. Uh got the ferret some new toys I had them delivered so these are petite and puppy dog chew toys they like to chew on plastics so I don't know if you can see that but they've chewed that pretty good and then I've also got way down here I don't know if you can see that really well that's super rough this is their ball pit made from Easter eggs. So their ball pits made from Easter eggs, but the plastic bin that they're in, they chewed through pretty good. So I got them a petite little Kong chew. Oh, they already got the Trito one side, working on the other. And this is like a soft rubbery plastic. There. 
so they can chew on that, which another petite dog toy I got was this. I got this a while ago. And uh, let's see here, is this one ripped up a lot? No, nah. he does chew on this though. They do chew on this. Kirkle's more the plastic chewer. Let's see here. Yeah, you can see some of the scarring in there where his, his tiny teeth have literally just carved into this pretty good. Oh, you can see real good right there. Where that's kind of split almost. So, since I like to chew on plastic and I took their ball pit out, I figured getting some of these, hello. Hello, you can, oh, don't, don't pet you. Okay, I got you. <laughs> Silly. Silly goose, Silly goose. I figured they might enjoy chewing on this. Right now they're just trying to get the treats out of there. And this has like these grooves on it. So I could stick their little stick chews in there. I'm not sure if they'll pull them out or not. They seem to be just chewing on them. But they're getting the stars out of there. So, and then somewhere back here. So that one's the softer one. And then I got them that one, which is a little harder. This, it's still flexy a little bit. You can't see me bend it. It's still a little flexy, but I figured with the textures and everything, they would probably enjoy chewing on this too. And then this, which is a Nyla bone, and it's got some sort of like flavoring on it, but this is the toughest one of them all. This is probably the equivalent of the bin that they chewed on down below for their ball pit. So I figured they might enjoy chewing on that. I usually have like a Gatorade bottle or a water bottle in here that they, that's like a harder plastic that they chew on. I took that out recently um, cause it was getting old and I'd like to change them out every now and then. So I figured this might take the place of say the water bottle or the Gatorade bottle or the plastic bin. So hopefully they'll enjoy chewing on these instead. They're certainly enjoying the treats. <laughs> so I'm hoping they'll enjoy these and the textures on them. So there's like a spike texture and then there's like a rib texture. So, and then the Nyla bone, the brown one that looks like a wishbone is flavored. So we'll see how they do with those and if they start chewing on that or not. Yeah. Yeah. We're backlit. Yeah. There we go. I got these from Chewy.com. Right? Oh! <laughs> it's mine! Mm -hmm. Hello! <laughs> Hi! Fear in the face.
Are you stealing it? That's not nice. Hmm. <laughs> Where are you going? On the camera. Hmm? What's up, bud? You know what happened? My shoulder red? Mm. No? No, do it. <laughs> that is the top of my head. She was just starting to chew on it. Yeah. I was, I was turning on the camera for you. Oh, and there you go. So she brought it down here and she started chewing on it. And then she saw me and then stopped. <laughs> no. Oof. Children, you're just so entranced by the camera. Come here. Come on. Come on up. Come on. Here we go. Hello. Hello. No. Okay. Not having it today. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello. Hi. He's like kisses. Up. <laughs> you ran away. <laughs> He's like nope. <laughs> kisses. Not happening. Oh, oh, you coming back? Coming back, alright. Wanna try again? Come on. Want to shoulder it? No. No. What's up? Hi. It's new toys. <laughs> More interested in the new toys. Oh, oh, oh. She'll climb on me usually. They usually both climb on me. But I think because I got the new toys in there, they're more interested in the new toys. Yeah? You more interested in the new toys? Hmm? Mostly the treats? Absent. Usually you guys can't wait to climb on me. Y'all. Come on. No? You don't want to do it today? Not in the mood? What, my precious girl? What? What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, bye. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed me and my ferrets, it's free to subscribe. And remember, there's magic in art.